check. Well, do me a favor. You can just check to see if we're live and good. Which channel? Uh, the original, the Nash, just leave him as Nashville. Okay, I got the notification, so we should be good. I got okay, okay. But all right, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, before we get started, we want to give all praises and glory honors to Yahweh by Shem, Yahushai by Shem, Makakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and those of GMS is pushing this word through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem, Yahushai. But this is the GMS Nashville, brothers, brother Yahweh Nine, brother Chaya, back here with another lesson. Lord, one is less edifying for the elect. But the title of this lesson is The Lord Doesn't Care About Your Money, Man. He doesn't care how about how, how much money you make, man. Okay, because uh, me actually, me and the brother uh, Chaya, we were actually watching a, a, a camp lesson from uh, Elder of War, and uh, it hopped on me to 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 do a lesson on this because they were going into about uh, uh, the Lord doesn't care about your riches, and the riches are not going to save you. So, uh, and shalom to the brothers who could be on the uh, comment board. Shalom to you, brothers. And uh, well, yeah, man, we're just gonna get straight to it because the Lord, if you're thinking that your money and you're thinking that your riches are gonna get you salvation, or you think that the Lord is dealing with you just because you got. 200,000 in the account or a million count, then, then you gotta, you're about to get a rude awakening, man. Because if you're not doing and following the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, then you're screwed, man. Whether you have negative eight cents in the account or two million in the account, if you're not doing the will of the Lord, then you're screwed regardless. So we're just gonna get this real quick, you know, we're just, just getting straight to the point with this lesson. Um, this is Zephaniah 1 and 14. We're gonna read down to 18. It says, The great day of the Lord is near, it is near and hasteth greatly. Even the voice of the day of the Lord, the mighty men shall cry there bitterly. That day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, a day of trumpet and alarm against the fenced cities and against the high towers. And I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against the Lord. And their blood shall be poured out as dust and their flesh as the dung. Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai's wrath. But the whole land shall be devoured, devoured by the fire of his jealousy, for he shall make uh, he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. So the scriptures are talking about that there is a time of trouble, which is Jacob's trouble, that's coming upon the face of the earth. Okay. And the Lord is telling you how gloomy it is and how bad it's going to be and, and how a lot of flesh are, are, are going to be, you know, catching a lot of judgment. Those who are in the flesh. But and the Lord is also saying even your money, no matter what, if you're not right with me, even your money doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. OK, because for one, people got to understand the real concepts of money, not the U.S. dollar, that, that monopoly money, that Federal Reserve note, uh, 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 the real money is is gold. Uh, silver, land, you know, and the list goes on. That's real money. Mm -hmm. And even on that, you can't even bribe the Lord with that. Okay. Because the Lord made all that. How are you going to bribe me with something that I gave you and that I made? Okay. So regardless, you're screwed. It doesn't matter if you have a land full of cattle and it doesn't matter if you have 2.3 million. It don't matter if you are not of the elect and of the one third remnant. Okay. The believers, the elect of the man, woman, and child, you're screwed, man. OK, if you're not fulfilling, uh, doing your uh, your your duty of serving the Lord. OK, you're going to get caught up with this fire of jealousy, which is uh, that nuclear destruction. OK. Con, con, yeah, just to kind of land back off that, you know, that's the reason why the scripture say remember Lot's wife, because mm -hmm. if you have all these worldly possessions. You're going to be looking back on those possessions, because when you really um, dig into the scripture, the reason why Lot's wife looked back because Lot was wealthy. Yep. So, yes, she physically looked back, but she was looking back on that lifestyle that she was actually giving up. So if you, you know, if you're a doctor, a lawyer, if you're an NBA player, when it comes times to let go of these worldly possessions, this gold and this silver, you're not going to want to let it go. Here it is. You got a hundred million in your bank account. But in order to spend that money, you got to take the chip. Yep. So. Mm -hmm. Here it is, you know, then, 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 then if these NBA players or, or whoever in the industry hear our videos say you got to live off of faith, they're like, but I got $500 million in the bank account. What do you mean faith? No, nah, you got to let all that go. So ultimately, that's why scripture say remember lots. Why? Because those people are going to be trusting in that gold and silver 
But guess what? It's not going to deliver you in a day of your highest wrath. Right. That is exactly right, brother. Because because especially when the dollar drops, which this this economy is plummeting and it is going to drop. Let's say the scriptures. OK, matter of fact, I'll, I'll get that real quick. I believe it's Genesis, the 45th chapter, I believe. Because this this money is it, this system is plummeting, man. So when they drop this dollar and reserve to the chip, how is that going to save you then? OK. Uh, where is it? I believe it's, uh, let me see. Let me paraphrase it. Got any caps? If it's the money, oops, not faith. The money, I believe it. Money, money fail. fail. Oh yeah. The, the money fail. I know it's in Genesis. All right. Genesis. Uh, I think it, I believe it's 47, 40, 15, 47. Okay. The water. Yeah, 47. Yeah, here it is. 47 and 15, not 45. So like you. Uh, this is Genesis 47 and 15. And when money fell off in the land of Egypt and in the land of Canaan, all the Egyptians came unto Joseph and said, give us bread for why should we die in thy pr uh, presence for the money faileth. OK, so how is even when the, the money is failing in this society, how is it? How is that going to save you on top of that when this destruction comes? OK, the Lord got rid of the money. The Lord don't care about it. I'm, I'm going to give it to you, and then I'm still going to take it away. So how is this going to you know, save you? Why are you depending on something that I can easily give and take away? All right. Go on. You, you got something you want to get at? Uh, you, um, I, I had this um, uh, Jeremiah 30 and 6. Right. I go here. I, well, you, oh, you got it, Con. Yeah, I got it. But you can still read it though. Just okay. showing it for, showing it for uh, Jeremiah 30 and 6. Mm -hmm. Ask ye know, ask ye now, and see whether a man does prevail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness? Verse 7. At last, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. But he shall be saved out of it. So huh? the, the he that's getting saved out of it is the elect of the nation of Israel. So this isn't going into the he as far as two thirds of the nation of Israel who trust in, in their in their worldly possessions. It's the he is those um, brethren, even sisters that, that's having that, that ultimate faith. So yep. They're the ones that's going to be saved out of it in Jacob's trouble. Two thirds of the nation of Israel. They're going to be trusting in Esau, Edom. They're going to be like, you know what? I'm going to take the chip. I'm, I'm going to take the jab. They're going to be trusting in this, this current society. They're not going to be trusting in Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get the read the next verse that you got, son. I got something real quick. And, and the scriptures also as well, in the book of Isaiah, it talks about, you know, woe to you that's trusting in Egypt and in the princes, man. Okay? Trusting in uh, uh, the Pharaoh, Salakia. So this is Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of salvation. Salvation. So like you, the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim El Shai, is his treasure. It doesn't say the money is your treasure. It says the fear of the Lord is his treasure, man. Okay. It says wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that time. Not you having a fat bank account and having that bag on you be the stability of thy times. Mm -hmm. Okay. Con, yeah, yeah. wisdom and knowledge. Is, it's talking about wisdom and knowledge of the scriptures, not yep. wisdom and knowledge of, of here it is. You got your PhD, you got your masters. It's talking about the wisdom, knowledge, understanding of the scriptures. You see what I'm saying? Going into that secret place of the most high. That's that's ultimately in, in these scriptures. You see what I'm saying? As I think it's you know, uh, we got this truth in earthen vessels. That's going into that wisdom and knowledge. Here it is, you know. A, a person could, could go to school for you know 12 years, you know, get they they get their PhD, see what I'm saying, do residency, become a, a world famous, you know, doctor on Esau, Esau's um system, but they don't understand the scriptures. So ultimately they're gonna be trusting in their gold and their silver, you know, doing whatever it takes to keep that status here in America, Babylon the Great. But uh -huh. here it is. You got you got the prophets of your how about Shimmy out shot on the street corners prophesying the downfall of America, but they don't it, it doesn't register with them because that's not in their program. Right. 
because you may be doing well and wealthy and basically doing a good job on Esau's in Esau's kingdom. But how do you think the Lord feel? You, you feel like you're on good terms with the Lord? You got to think like that. Okay. You think people, a lot of people think like, oh yeah, I got all this money. I'm good. I'm Gucci. I got nothing to worry about and all this. But yeah, on this side, yeah. But are you right with Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai once again? Come on. Mm -hmm. You want to get there, Mark? 10, 25, we'll never get a chance. Uh, you can. You said you wanted to jump down to verse eight. Oh, I actually, that, that was going to be up on that. That was going to be it on that. Oh, okay. Here, yeah, I'll get that. Uh, I'll bring up the Mark. <clears throat> Oops. Yeah, Mark 6 and uh, I believe it's 6 and uh, no, no, I believe it's 10 and 25, I believe. Yeah, it's 10 and 25. Yeah, it's 10 and 25. This is a uh, mark 10 and 25. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter to the kingdom of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. All right, so it's better if it says, to say it's easier for a man for a camel to go through the eye of a needle. Okay, it's better than the rich man. Um, Salakia, you might as well, uh, you might bring it down a lot better because I believe you was going to read it, Salakia, if I was reading it. Oh, oh, you go ahead. Uh, I was just gonna go into here. It is you got what Mark 10 25. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of the, of the most high. Because when you go into that, uh, that camel, you, it, it goes into a, a narrow passageway. So, mm -hmm. in order, you got to think about in the ancient world, if you had all of your, if you was, if you was a rich person, you had all of your worldly possessions on that camel you would literally have to take all of that stuff off the camel set it down then take the camel through the narrow passageway but you got to think about it. if you don't have a, a army with you you got gold and silver you have to take it off the camel set it on the ground then take the camel through the narrow passageway but if you, if you got thieves and robbers out there all your gold gonna be gone by the time you get back. So, mm -hmm. you know, you know, spiritually, a rich man they basically have to who take for instance Nick Cannon. Yep. And he didn't want to let go of those riches, so he he turned his back on the Lord. See what I'm saying? He, he didn't count the cost. Yep. So here it is. The Lord presented him with with a chance. Hey, he he don't jumped out there talking about he know about Israel, but then when hey when them them so called Amalekites get on his ass. What did he do? He reneged on it. Yeah. It's, hey, he didn't want to take them riches off that camel. It's yeah. To that narrow passageway. He's like, no, I got to get that gold back. Now, what do he? What do he? What do he do? Uh, he lost his show. Now he got it back. He, he lost his show. He, he lost. He, he lost his show. <laughs> then he went on. He went on a tour, apologizing. Apologizing to him. That means he couldn't. He couldn't handle that fire, man. He couldn't. No, handle he couldn't that, handle that fire. It was too hot. <laughs> yeah, it's too hot for him because when you come to this truth, man, uh, uh, you get hit with that. Uh, that you get hit with hell, man. When you're starting to wake up, mm -hmm. okay, people start switching up on you. You might lose your job instantly. You know, stuff like that can happen. And he couldn't handle that. He was getting hit. You know, the Lord was testing him because he was. He's talking about we Israelites. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> now, now look at you. Now E on you. Oh wait, hold on. I don't, I don't, I don't know now. That's how you know. You know like that. <laughs> yeah, that's how you know. That's how you know. He, uh, 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 the Lord wasn't dealing because he couldn't handle his riches, man. Because if he was a really true man, of the Lord, he would have lost. He could have lost all of that and still been pushing the word, man. Starting from <laughs> square. Oh yeah, go ahead. I like it. Oh no, you good? I'm you just, just he would, gave it all back to him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that could have happened too. There's a lot of uh, possibilities, man. When you read the the book of Luke, the first chapter. It, uh, it says uh, with with Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, nothing is impossible. Okay, God. the Lord was testing you if you were gonna be as bold as a lion. If you're gonna have faith, are you gonna stand true to what you believe in? You know, and and he failed all that. He had a test and failed it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, I believe we can get that Luke. Okay, come six and twenty four. You had something? No, no, you good. We get uh oh, oh one second. Uh, Luke six and twenty four. But woe, which woe means destruction, unto you that are rich, for ye have received your consolation. Okay, because everybody comes with that motive of I gotta get that bag, I gotta get this money, I gotta stunt, 
I got to let everybody know I got this and make fun of you and not have it. I got to get this money and then go take this man's woman. That's Jake, man. Mm -hmm. We being in the trap house. Elder War was going in on it. You being in the trap house. It's a trap because you are literally sitting here talking about it's being in the trap. You trapping yourself. And you don't even realize it. It's you something that that means. Means. Yeah, something of that nature that the elder said, man. <laughs> and it's funny, man, because it's true. Jake really setting themselves up for failure. And then really, if you know how the industry, the music industry works, all that money that they say they have is really not even theirs. It's like a, a it's like, so like you, you want to say something? No, no, no. You, it's, it's just a, a, a facade, a mirage. <laughs> that, that's all it is. I mean, they they be on TV. They, they show you this glamorous lifestyle, but a lot of them aren't living it because I, I, I know some, some some friends of mine personally who I want to say they put out Field Mob, they put out, I want to say about three or four albums, but they have no money. Yeah. I mean, they, 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 they have nothing to show for it. They had a, a, a crooked manager, but that might, if your manager's name is Grouchy, <laughs> what you, what it's already you, bad. <laughs> What do you think is gonna happen if that's your manager name? But see, Jake, they just, they just, you know, not used to having anything. So if, if Esau present them with, you know, uh, I guess, you know, fulfill all their fantasies. But the thing, kind of like when you go back to the Ice Cube, um, in yep. the movie, um, I'm just thinking that I was just, they, they was taking all of their money. But see, yep. they was giving them advances, you know, giving them clothes. It's like it's almost like. They was getting paid in clothing, like they had the, the nicest clothes and all, but they weren't getting any money, yep. no money. So here it is, you done made four albums, but you have no money. It's crazy. Because when in the movie, you know, Slocky, if I spoiled it for those who haven't seen it, the Straight Outta Compton movie that came out in 2015, uh, there was a part uh, that when Q was walking in to go and get his money from uh, Jerry Heller, which he's an Edomite, <laughs> that demon. Um, he, he, he was just like, um, so what's up with all this? You know, where's my money at? He's like, look, a $75,000 check. It's all <laughs> yours if you sign this contract. He said, that's my money. I earned that. He said, he was like, I know there's a lot of money. We've been we've been doing this tour. We've been doing shows, showing our shows and all this. He was like, well, shit. I mean, how do you think all this got paid for your shows and, and, and all these girls and everything? All this, all the, all the money that you're making, we put it towards it. You know, and that's a devil knowing that you never really even had money. Mm -hmm. You made it seem like you're rich. Esau puts on an act to make you to make you think that these celebrities are really rich, and some of them do have money, yeah. but ma but majority majority of them don't. The ones who really have money, if you think about it, are, are the guys that sold the hell out, like Drake, Cardi B, Offset, those high guys. Okay, but um, but they're all just puppets, man. And in, in the music videos. A lot of guys say all that money that they're splurging on the streets and, and cutting up and, and lighting with a fire of a hundred dollar bill, all that is prop money. Mm -hmm. They really don't have it. And that puts the, the facade to you, Jake's, you is lights to like, well, I want to be like him. Well, that's motivated me to come get this paper. Niggas are, are killing over money, stealing things for money, selling things for money. It's all, you know, corrupt and chaotic, man. And all this is going to lead to your downfall, man. Now, we're not saying, you know, when you come to this truth, you're, you're supposed to sit around and not make no money. Like, you can't go to work and, you know, pay your bills. We're not saying that at all. But understand what's more important. Yahal Bashimi, I was shy. Okay? If you uh, 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 listen and worship and obey Yahal Bashimi, I shy at the best of your ability, everything else is going to come naturally, man. Okay? When we make money, we put it towards, you know, things that are important, like towards the brothers. Uh, uh, when brothers pay tithes. Uh, 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 for brothers, when you travel, you know, stuff, stuff like to that nature, and, and on top of that, hell, even in bills. Okay, that's what that's what brothers in this truth use money for, man. We're not sitting here to we're gonna get all this money to stunt on you, niggas. Y'all niggas ain't this. We got paper. No, brothers are not doing that. And if brothers are doing that, then you're not in the right spirit. Okay, okay. you got something hot? First Timothy 6 and 10. Uh, is that what you had? Yeah, I got the first Timothy uh, 6 and 10. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> first Timothy 6 and 10. For the love of money is the root of all evil. 
So yeah, so we, we don't love money. I mean, money is a defense. As a brother mm-hmm. going into, we use money to pay our bills, you know, go, you know, get groceries, you know, if the brotherhood, like you said, want to go out of town, you know, for you know, paying for food, things that are nature, just day-to-day life. See what I'm saying? We don't covet after money. We just it's, as a scripture, it's a defense. Because here in in America, Babylon is great. If you don't work, essentially you can't eat. So we got to get we go to work every day. Um, and then once we get our paycheck, we use it to pay our bills, but we're not out here, as a brother was saying, trying to stun on niggas or, or trying to get trying to one up someone. Just yeah. we're not in, you know, in 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 this thing to be the, you know, put have a, the best garment in Israel or <laughs> put on the, the most <laughs> Elaborate Passover. It's a solemn assembly. Solemn assembly. That, that that's 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 essentially what it is. So hey, we use money, you know, as a scripture as a defense, not you know something that we covered out there. Well, I'm gonna finish up the scripture because it goes into that. Uh-huh. Which while some covered out there, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. So yes, uh-huh. a so if you're covering out the money, you're essentially piercing yourself through with many sorrows. That's right. Because, because man, we just live in simple lives, man. Mm-hmm. Men of the Lord are going to live simple lives. We're not in this uh, chaos out here in the streets <laughs> with these Neanderthal-ass niggas. Okay? We're not. All this, all this things going, all these things going on, and the last thing that we're worrying about is some fucking money, man. Like I said, handle your business. But don't let that consume you to where it's like a paper, paper. I need this paper. I need this money. I need this green. That's niggotry. Okay. Mm-hmm. And, and those niggas that are doing that, they're going to get destroyed, man. We just read it. And when we, at the beginning of the lesson, man, uh, the uh, uh, Zephaniah, the first chapter, man, you know, neither their silver or gold can save you, man. Okay. And even the real money is that's still not going to save you, which is in having land and cattle. Okay. For example, that's not going to save you too if you're not. Uh, 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 obeying and following Yahweh Bashim Al Shai at the best of your ability. That's what the Lord's worrying about. I'm worrying about who's about to serve me, who's about to bow down and serve me, man, and not take this chip and, and follow the laws and commandments at the best of, your, uh, best of their ability. That's who the Lord is worrying about, man. Having faith, that's what the Lord is worrying about. If you ain't doing that, shoot, it, it don't matter what position you in. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Was that it on that for that? Yeah, that was it on that pre-sale. Uh, I think I have uh, I got Proverbs <laughs> Proverbs 11 and 4, I believe. Uh, you have Proverbs 11 and 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivered from death. Like I said, that's what the Lord's worrying about. He's worrying about righteousness. Who's following me in righteousness? Not your riches. It says riches profit not in the day of wrath, which means the Lord ain't about to save you for having 2.3 mil in the bank account. He don't care. What do you what do you niggas not get? I worry about who's being righteous on the right hand side of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. That's what the Lord is worrying about. Are you praying? Are you fasting? Are you doing the work? That's what the Lord is worrying about. Okay. Um When you spoke on that uh, money as a defense, I'll get uh, Ecclesiastes uh, 7, I believe, and 12. And if you ain't got nothing else, we can probably close on that. <clears throat> okay, fine, fine. Um, Ecclesiastes 7 and 12. For wisdom is a defense, and money is a defense. But the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom giveth life to them that have it. So that you even connect that with, with uh, Isaiah 33 and 6. Wisdom and knowledge will be the stability of thy time. time. Mm-hmm. Money, like the brother said, and in the scriptures, money is a defense. You use it to pay your bills, you know, uh, charity for brothers, okay? Use it to, to, to better you for, for the Lord, okay? That's what you use money for, not just because I want to stunt on niggas. I want to go mess with this man's woman, and she going to leave him because I'm going to get her that Prada bag. That's not what the Lord is worrying about. That's off, and the Lord is going to fucking destroy you, man. Point blank, period. Okay? I'll read it one more time, and we'll probably close here. I feel like the point's already already been made, I believe. Ecclesiastes 7 and 12. For wisdom is a defense, 
and money is a defense, but the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom giveth life to them that have it. Okay. And if, I, if I may say, go ahead. Beautiful scripture, Ecclesiastes 7 and 12, as the brothers reading, for wisdom is a defense. So obviously, two thirds of the nation of Israel, Israel, they don't have a defense as, a, as when it goes to the wisdom. They may have the monetary defense. But if our people had the actual wisdom as a defense, they wouldn't be out here marching for this Black Lives Matter because you yeah. wouldn't understand the scriptures. So God. here it is. Why is Jacob Blake getting cool. shot in the back? When the cop told him to freeze, you freeze. That's wisdom. You mm -hmm. adversary quickly. See what I'm saying? So if our people had the wisdom, knowledge of these scriptures, they would do. They, they would be better off here in America, Babylon, and Great. Guess what? They they don't have that. They they caught up in you know all these other different philosophies. You know you know I'm gonna do I'm gonna do me. You know I'm that YOLO spirit. So yeah. guess what? You don't have the wisdom of the scriptures. You don't have defense. So now you at the mercy of Esau, Edom, and that nigga <laughs> he ain't gonna give you no leeway. No. None. I think you know he gonna give you no leeway because look how our people act towards him. Like when when you get the scripture that says uh uh um uh uh wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. Jake don't Jake don't use Jake will uh uh, uh see a cop you pull over. Why the hell you pull me over? Well you've been speeding. <laughs> give me I don't gotta give you my license. It's okay if I can search your car. You can't search my goddamn car. I know my rights. Now you shot, nigga. Now you're arrested. <laughs> Now, 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 a video gonna go online of you getting shot. And see, Black Lives Matter. George, 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 uh, whatever the hell that nigga name is. This, that. See, we don't need justice. We need justice. But y'all don't really know that this is this. And you know what? I got it right here, and that's what leading it to it. It's Micah two, and, yeah, Micah <laughs> two and ten. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted, and it shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. And that's playing upon tables, man. This is uh -huh. not your rest. <laughs> it's why you're going through all these problems. That's why the cops are killing you. That's why you, you, your mind, your only motive is to get this money and get this paper. Then you mm -hmm. see how that goes. You go from job to job. Shit, you go broke trying to get that paper. You be dying trying to get these pa this paper. You're working 13 to 14. And hell, I know niggas that work 16-hour shifts. They got back problems. They got feet problems. They look sick. They ain't sleeping. They walk around every day. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. But I got to get that money, though. You seem you sound stupid, nigga. You niggas sound stupid. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you about to hey, we about to see. That's why it's beautiful, man. That's why the Lord is doing wonderful works. The Passover is around the corner and hey, the Lord is really about to show out. He been fucking you niggas up in Texas. You is correct ass niggas. You Hispanics. Down there, because majority of them are uh, are Hispanics down there, because it's right next, it's right on top of Mexico. Hey, the Lord's putting judgment on y'all, man. Okay, they about to they about to raise this uh, this dollar. It's about to be an inflation, and they're gonna shut it down. Tax season is coming up. They talking about another stimulus check, a fourteen hundred fourteen hundred dollar stimulus check. I believe it just got approved. I believe. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, and that's leading to the crash of the dollar. Hey. Hey, keep having that motive of money, 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 and watch how far it gets you in the near future, man. When they drop the dollar, and you got to get to the chip. See how that. See how uh, uh, how it's going to work when that happens, man. Let's see how far you get. Trying to get them same people that's lining up for that um for that jab through the spirit. They're going to be the same one that's going to take the chip because yep. they trusting in they trusting in the shadow of Egypt. Yep. So, hey, man. I, I just listen to people. So, yeah, man, I done got my, I done got my jail. Say, so, okay, you gonna take the chip? Yeah, you you definitely gonna take it. You gonna get desperate? You gonna get desperate? Mm -hmm. You already seen how niggas was acting, being desperate in uh, uh um in Texas. They they trying to leave and be their own country or whatever. But when that <laughs> when that shit was happening, uh, where's the government? Where's the yeah, government? We need help. <laughs> oh Lord, y'all not ready, man. Hey. <laughs> Hey, the spirit and power of y'all by Shimao Shai, the Lord is going to fuck all you niggas up, man. Excuse my French, but hey, the Lord go murk a lot of y'all, man. Okay, and I... I'm just going to keep that to myself, but man. <laughs> man, you got, you got anything else, brother? 
that's it. All right. Yeah, that's pretty much about it. Uh, low one, your brothers was edifying. Before we close, we want to give all praise <laughs> and honors to yeah, how well by Jim, double honest to the apostles and others of GMS is pushing this word through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shinao Shai. You better keep fighting this good fight of faith. Quam Yasharala, where I'm gonna sat here, Shalom and a Baba Ball.